All right, I got some stuff here from Amazon. What do I got? Let's take a look. I've got, bam, RCA wire. Gee, I wonder what that's for. Um, some terminals, some DB Link Gold Edition. I got two packages of those. Just got four in there each. We're gonna go take a look at my box next. Here, look at all this goodies. Some speakers that are not packaged very well. I hope there's nothing wrong with them. Some more speakers from Rockville Audio. The boxes look quite similar. Okay. Um, some wire. More wire. We always like wire. And a stereo. This is the Kenwood. Uh, KMMBT222U. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to be upgrading stereo in my spark. So, yeah, we're going to do some things. Um, so I upgraded the grounding. Well, not really upgraded, just did some modifications and added some more grounding terminals to the battery, to the chassis. So now I'm going to start installing stuff. I almost forgot the most important thing, the dash kit for the Spark. Uh, it's the thing that makes the thing all work together. It says horrible install video, but hopefully it'll make sense. Uh, this is the best kit version, not the Metro, because I didn't care about the warning chimes and all of that. So, uh, yeah, this was like... $25 versus like 70 for the other one. So yeah, and I'm just gonna solder all the stuff myself because I'm smart like that. So yeah. Okay, I already took off um, the left uh, door or the left front speaker and I'm going to do this one and I'm just gonna show you guys how uh, easy it is. Um, you literally just need a butter knife. At least that's the way I did it and they're not they're not very hard at all. It literally just snaps. I mean, comes right off. You just pull it up and bam, it's off. And you need a little stubby screwdriver to get them off. And that's pretty much it for the front speakers. You can see I've got them uh, soldered up here. And uh, I'm just gonna stick them in the, in the hole and get these things installed. Um, I already did that side over there. That side's completely done. So, yeah, hopefully uh, these will sound pretty decent. And the can if in the cameras and stuff, these speakers look a lot bigger than they actually are. So, I'll go ahead and get the rears uh, taken care of after this, and then we'll move on to the head unit. So, this is the next day. Um, kind of was up pretty late last night getting some of this stuff wired up, and I literally just have things just dangling and hanging and things pulled apart um let's explain what's going on so i got all of the wires um set up for the kenwood head unit and i've got them all uh soldered in the problem is that the original and i'm not really sure how they did it i think it's because you had to use that accessory box and I think a whole bunch of wires combined together somehow caused the accessory power or it was converting to 12 volts. So what I did is I just tapped into uh, the 12 volt line that was plugged into the um, the uh, cigarette, or cigarette, geez, I'm, listen to how old I am. Uh, the 12 volt plug, um, I've used, I've tapped into this before for like, uh, some lights and for my radar detector but because there wasn't an accessory wire it, it the original obviously had the 12 volt the constant 12 volt but i tapped into that just for it's sort of like a remote wire that you would get off your uh head unit but um but it applies a lot more amperage obviously um so that's how i did that because i didn't buy one of those connectors for the um uh, you know to go from the factory to this 
And I just hate that. Like, I hate having a whole bunch of different connectors and adapters. And I don't ever use OnStar, so I don't really care about that. Um, so, why do I have this down? Um, first of all, I was pulling it down to mount the uh, system for the, uh, the system. The speaker for my uh, scanner, which I know it's just kind of dangling here. This is actually Ethernet wire that I'm using. Um, and it'll work fine, but the re one, main reason why I had to pull this down is so that I could get to the antenna uh, for the original one, uh, for the original um, antenna setup, and that bird really needs to shut up, uh, because I'm going to be tapping, in well I've already tapped into it, I did it last night, but I'm going to add a coil on the inside of that thing, and it's not focusing. Um, but I'm going to actually remove this from the actual car, which you'll see here in just a minute. Um, what else was I going to show you guys? Um, I don't really remember. Let me take a look. Yeah, so this is the original, you know, the original uh, antenna bracket or setup, whatever. But I'm going to take this off and I'll show you the inside of what this actually is. So let me explain what's going on here. Um, this is the the antenna, the unit that is on top of the car, and this whole device is actually all for OnStar, and I think it has a GPS, you know, to do the whole SOS and locating thing, I'm not entirely sure, but that's what it looks like, because there's a lot of circuitry in there, um, so, yeah, and basically what I'm going to do is, I made this coil, it's just on a piece of pencil wood, I know, I didn't have a dowel, and I didn't feel like going to go buy one so uh, this is the basically the load which is going to give the gain because the antenna even though the actual antenna has that helical shape on it I don't think that's actually functional I think that's just for looks um, because I think it's just one long piece of wire that's in on the inside and there's no way of actually taking this apart and you know knowing for sure so um, Anyways, yeah, this bait, so I'm going to solder the end of this to the wire that's coming on, and then I'm going to solder this to the inside where it screws on and touches that. And then it's all going to be buttoned up, and you won't even be able to tell. Okay, so here's to kind of recap. Um, this is basically the trunk space that you don't have a lot of in the Spark, but um, mine didn't come with a spare tire um, because it has run flats on there, and it has like this air compressor and this uh, little tank thing that you're supposed to put stuff in it. I have never used it, hopefully I'll never have to, but I do have roadside assistance, so that's good. Um, so here's basically the setup. It's a Pioneer uh, 760 watt amp. It's only putting about 3.8 to the speaker. Um, and it is a 10 inch um, Boss audio amplifier. And I'm trying to get it. And that's it. Uh, it's nothing special. It's in an old Radio Shack uh, speaker box. But you know what? It works. And it works great. So yeah, there's the amp and sub set up. And then the Planet Audios. Um, those are what I have in the rear. Um, as you saw before. Uh, they're 4x6 speakers. Walk over the front and show you guys here is the finished product um but first of all you know that i've got the two rockville audio speakers in the front um and i've got the kenwood and i know it's dirty i just tried to clean with some armor all all-purpose cleaner but anyways uh so i've got that and my scanner which is hooked up to the stock antenna of the car and then if you guys hadn't already noticed, um, that was my CB. I've had that on here for a while. Um, I just got around to adding the scanner and the stereo. Um, so yeah, now it's just time to basically turn this puppy on. Well, before I turn it on, let's hear... Oh, and then I have my external speaker for the scanner mounted up here. It's all routed, you know, all hard-lined in. Um, 
then I have a radar detector and then the microphone for the stereo is actually in here I actually repurposed the mic and hooked it up to the Kenwood unit and it actually works so so Scanning for airband right now. So let's see if we can hear anything. Yeah. Sergeant mileage is four. You said seven four. Okay, four. So yeah, that's my scanner. Not too interesting for probably some of you. Um. Um. So now the unit. Um. I need to like set my camera down somehow, but. Um, the unit is basically, uh, it's just a Bluetooth Kenwood unit. Alright, I'm gonna go to Pandora. I know, I know you don't need a watch. You ain't need a back door. My name on the back door. I took the lead to the back door. And the key on the back one night stand. But here we go again. I wish that I loved you. Or that I cared. Or that I'd even give a damn if you were here. But you're gone, so it's fuck you. You So yeah, that's my uh, system in my 2014 Chevy Spark, and it works amazingly. Um, this is a manual, by the way. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, I don't know why there's not more uh, videos on Chevy Spark installs, because I see a lot of them on the road. At least, uh, quite a few. I don't know if people are just embarrassed to be driving this car around, but I love it. Um, I've had this car for since 2015 so yeah like three years now and I've not had a single problem with it other than needing a new battery and the windshield washer pump uh, went out and I still have not been around to replace that so other than that it hasn't had any major problems knock on wood so yeah um, yeah that was my spark install so yeah Cool beans. Later, folks.